grocery shopping and uh, we finally did. We went to Aldi, we went to Kroger. This is what we came back with. So I'm gonna show you what we get and what you can get if there's a Kroger and Aldi near you. And if you're wondering what to buy that's vegan, there's a lot. Aldi, it lasts. It actually lasts. Yeah, 
my It's the only one. Oh, I'll get cilantro at the farmer's market or cilantro at Kroger. No, no, all the different places, good. but Aldi, for some reason, cilantro keeps. Um, we got jumbo romaine hearts. We got baby carrots. We got roasted garlic hummus. We don't normally get that either, but we are feeling that as well. Raspberries, and we got strawberries, which both of these we'll probably just eat in one sitting. Like, we don't really stretch those out. We got baby spinach because I normally like to put baby spinach in like everything I cook but if it's in a bag I normally don't use it. I just forget but if it's in here I remember. It's just you know you gotta roll with what works for you. Okay I think that's it for refrigerators from Aldi so I'm gonna go to Kroger. Kroger we got light life smart sausages. The Italian sausages. Aldi doesn't do a vegan sausage. No. Vegetarian they do but not vegan. Uh, we got light life chickpea and red pepper veggie deli slices. Um, Adam and I were both, again, like randomly feeling, maybe it's spring, you know, we're feeling like sandwichy, with, like sparkling water, hummus, that makes sense. Chickpea red pepper veggie deli from Light Life. We're trying out the tofurkey. Which one is this? The hickory smoked, hickory smoked? Turkey, I guess. Yeah, it's another deli. Deli meat. Diet blue cheese dressing. Super random, man. We got some strange things this time, but I'm really happy with it. Okay, we got Hellman's Vegan. Not because we wanted to. Yeah, not because we wanted to, but it was the only vegan one at Kroger. Kroger. Um, we think the veganaise tastes disgusting, so don't recommend that. Hey! No, ma'am! She didn't eat our tomatoes. We got the Organic Earth Balance Butter. You can do very interested. She likes tomatoes! Yeah, what's the deal, man? I don't even know if dogs can have tomatoes. Is there a backup butter? Backup butter? Lord knows we got three extra firm tofus. It's a backup one because we already have one right now, but almost out. The crema. This is like my favorite creamer. One of them. It's the silk almond creamer. And it's vanilla one. I like the caramel one. We got two of the Pillsbury Original Southern Home Style Biscuits for Easter tomorrow. They're vegan. I mean, obviously this is all vegan, so if you see so something, you're like, that's not vegan. It is. It just either is accidentally vegan or it's very intentionally vegan, meant to look like a non-vegan thing. We're sometimes drunk. <laughs> Smart bacon, light life. We got two things of cookie, but this is for Easter. Sweet Lorenz, it's gluten free actually, and vegan, so if you're gluten free and dairy free, these are amazing. Like people who aren't gluten free or who aren't vegan love them. So yeah, it's so good. Just don't freeze them, that makes them taste weird. Yeah, don't freeze them. Oh, we got diet provolone style. Places. Um, that's all my refrigerated stuff now. Nice work, go team. Go team, go. The last bit of Kroger. So we have Annie's vegan mac and cheese. We got bananas. For smoothie. Peanut butter, that's refrigeratable. Oh yeah, true. And jelly. Now I'm ending it with all the, all the non-refrigerated stuff. More non-refrigerated stuff. So we got two tomato and basil. Pasta. That's what they're called. Oh, they do? Yeah. Really? We got this huge thing of potatoes. Okay, so actually there's a couple things that do get refrigerated in here. Jelly. We actually refrigerate our peanut butter as well because it's very natural. So it's just best to keep in the refrigerator so it's not like liquidy and stuff. Do you keep the salsa, I guess, in the fridge too? Um, Mild? Oh, come on. I Medium. I never know which one's more. How do you go, what's, what's the difference between mild and medium? There needs to be like, not medium? hot, hot, and hotter. That's exactly what or it not is. not hot, medium, and hot. Mild is not hot at all. I lied, so this is like half refrigerated, half not. Because ketchup, obviously this is from Aldi, and it's the Simply Nature Tomato Ketchup, organic, yay. Uh, and that goes in the fridge. But all these are up for debate pretty much. Some people do, some people don't. Then we got two cans of black beans, one garbanzo bean, one cannellini bean, one more of each of those. And then we got light red kidney beans. The end. Obviously there's some things that we didn't end up getting because we either forgot or we had. Like we have lentils, so we didn't get any more lentils. That's pretty much it. We, we, we ran out of everything else. But yeah, just some things obviously. This isn't like a perfect grocery trip. I didn't hit every micronutrient that we could possibly need, but it varies. We change things up and we, you know, I think the whole whole idea is just because you're vegan doesn't mean you're perfect. <laughs> or, healthy. <laughs> or, or healthy. Same thing with being a Christian. It's like the same message. Yeah, it's like, true. 
And we just do our best, man. Yeah, let me just show you what our fridge and freezer and pantries look like now. So, here we go. Mostly like the condiments and things up here, like our butter and our ketchup. We have the ranch and cream and pasta sauce. Here's like our veggie, our veg, our deli slices, our bacon, and the uh, carrots. That's a backup. We have our mushrooms, and obviously like just more backup stuff, our Pillsbury uh, rolls, or LaCroix, hummus, hot dogs, sausages, tofu, all that jazz. We actually have some leftovers in the back here. And we have onions and we have our cookies and the cream cheese and the cream cheese. And then up here, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen our freezer so packed. We have our ice creams and we have burgers and chickens and pizza. Pizza and the frozen fruit. Is this like all frozen? That's all frozen. Except fruit. for that. Yep, that's breakfast this sausage is, patties. And this is veggies right here. This is more burgers. I'm so excited we're not gonna like go hungry for a while. Yes. This is very exciting. Bananas are up here. We have some potatoes. I think some avocado and apples. Oh, fresh of flakes. That was from before. And uh, tequila, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Taking this tomorrow. Canned beans. Our mac and cheese. Ooh. Kind of sounds good. Noodles. Where are, the, where are the other noodles? They're right behind the mac and cheese. Oh, there? Oh, nice. Uh, the potatoes are up there. The big ones, they're up there. And for organizational purposes, I mean, we like to get bulk, but when we can't get bulk, it's not perfect. We still put our rice and our quinoa in these containers. I hope that was helpful. I hope that showed you that there's a lot of options at Kroger and Aldi, and there's a lot of options in general for vegans don't eat all these vegan meat alternatives or the dairy stuff, but if you have it and you like that kind of thing, then go for it. Nobody's like saying you have to eat, just like lettuce and kale. I, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> I hope you learned something. 